But when it comes to this music, I get on them beats, I get in that booth, you can't see me. That's that around the world, though. Like, that's right around the I world. Fuck, I fuck RJ. I met him when uh, I came back from New York for meeting with 300 Entertainment. Everybody was tired, and uh, RJ tapped in with my producer, Cypress Moreno, and RJ's like, man, let me talk to Lefty real quick. I talked to him. He's like, man, I've been peeping you for a minute. Pull up, went to the studio. Me and RJ, we dropped two songs right then and there. And uh, ever since then, he became our friend. And, and I never seen that interview. Like, he's really turned up right there when he's, uh, when they ask him that. And uh, now I can relate now. Yeah, yeah. Why this, he might this like why me. I brought this up. Because the last one that was sitting in that chair that talked like you was was RJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought it was really cool to play that for you because I, I know that you do know him and that you guys fuck with each other and you got a song with him as well. Yeah, hell yeah. He wants to make more music and I want to make more music with him. He's probably one of my favorite rappers. Like I was talking to him, Get Rich. I was the one that really hit for me. Mm -hmm. Get Rich to Amio One. Mm -hmm. Amio One's probably a classic. Mm -hmm. I always compare Rookie of the Year to Amio One. Amio One is just legendary.